In our last video, we talked about crucial safety precautions you need to take when repairing electric vehicles. I'm Jason Stahl, and in this video, we're gonna talk about the best and first EV tool you can put in your arsenal from the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. The best and first EV tool you can put in your arsenal is observation, knowledge, and assessment. EVs share many similarities and operational principles, but they're not all the same. Take time to become familiar with the overall vehicle, from understanding the location of all of the HV systems and their parts, to cables and how these elements are routed. Assess if any of these items are damaged. The inspection process starts when the customer drives the vehicle in or the flatbed drops it off in the lot outside. There are aspects of BEV and HEV repairs that are different from conventional petroleum-fueled vehicles. Thus, you should be aware of everything from the HV battery's state of health to its cooling system and HV systems, in addition to all the usual mechanical and body inspection points. Scan tools, digital volt ohm meters or DVOMs, dual pole testers, milliometers, and mega ohm testers are just a sampling of the tools of the trade with some very unique ones specific to certain brands and makes. Being familiar with the vehicle and its systems is one part of the equation. The other part is truly understanding the test equipment, its functionality and reliability. Take the time to establish confidence with the accuracy of results and notifications. This includes being able to achieve a zero potential status slash notification in new equipment after performing a disconnection procedure to switch off the HV system. Be advised that a regular shop multimeter should not be used. Too many errors can happen, including setting an incorrect measurement group. Using a two-pole voltage tester, you can only measure voltage, thus eliminating the potential for errors. Additionally, a milliometer should be used to measure the component bonding as well as an insulation tester to help ensure a safe environment. It is highly recommended to install a wall mount charging station slash charging monitor, as it only requires a charger with an ICCB in cable control box, which acts to supervise the charging mode. It's critically important to always unplug the vehicle from a charger when somebody is working on the vehicle. The system is considered live when plugged in and charging. Working on a vehicle in this condition can be very dangerous. Please be advised that there's much more to consider when repairing BEV and HEV vehicles than what is outlined in this video. The choices you make not only impact your safety and livelihood, but also have possible repercussions to the lives of the families that drive and perhaps test your work on the roads of America. Your investment in training is an investment in your future, so invest wisely. ICAR continues to offer an evolving list of online courses and recently released hands-on training courses, from an introduction to electric vehicles course to the five-day EV hands-on skills development course offering at ICAR's new Chicago Technical Center. For the latest course additions, as well as complimentary resources, visit ICAR's website. I'm Jason Stahl from the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Thanks for watching.